Right, we're going to do a quick video on the Dynamis controller from Backman. Um, basically, not a lot of people know that you can actually lock or unlock the function keys, as in you can make them latching or non-latching. By latching, we mean that when the button is pressed down once, it actually stays on. So, for instance, for sounds like a fan running, or for um, steam evacuation you'd actually have that as a latched button so you can press it once the sound carries on playing um, obviously also that for lights as well because you don't want to sit there with your finger on the button with unlatched you can basically set it so that the um, things such as horn when you press the button and release it it horn goes off once and then it, the button is effectively off again so it stays in the off position and it's, it's handy for momentary sounds um, if you wanted to sort of have, um, say, just venting of a steam locomotive, you can have that on unlatched. Um, and as long as you have the button held down, it'll carry on blowing its um, steam out of its vents. But after that, obviously, you let go of the button, off it goes. So here on the Dynamics controller, um, we've got class 37 set up over there. Just sat on the turntable and we'll be seeing that in a bit more detail in a minute well not more detail but be hearing a bit more from it in a minute but uh, there he is and on the controller you can see that we've got class 37 selected there um, we've got lights on and that's a perfect example of a latched function although it's not as controllable but here we go that's off on and it's latched in the on position if I press the fan button for the 37, you may be able to hear the fan running in the background. That's latched. However, if I blow the horn, unlatched. And that's the other one. I was going to press the same one twice. Okay, so it's useful for when you're using, say, notching up, notching down. If you've got it in the unlatched mode, something that's only just come to light to me was that you need to hold the button for four seconds so basically in unlatch mode you would press the button down hold it for four seconds then release in latched mode you press it wait four seconds and then press it again it would seem this definitely works in unlatched mode but i haven't really tested it in latched so if we notch up now which is f5 so we go one two three four release You'll hear the gas go off there for the air brakes, and it should now notch up one. And there it goes. You might not be able to hear it that well over the noise of the servers in here. We've uh, got to move them this summer. They're only in here temporarily. Right, and then notch up again. One, two, three, four. You heard it actually picked up just a bit ahead of time there. And that's now notched up to two. There he goes. If I want to notch down, one, two, three, four, with the F6 button, boof, down it goes. And it's lightly ticking over there, well, not ticking over, but running, and then one, two, three, four, and it'll go back to idle, and it is now idling. Now, the thing with that is, and the problem I was having was if I then moved off, didn't get the hiss from the air brakes, I thought, this is odd. The reason being, you've got to notch down one more. One, two, three, four. Release. Now, if I actually push the controller up to move ahead one, there you go, air brakes went off. So there you go, that's um, basically how you do it. Right, I'm going to give you a demonstration now of it notching up and notching down on the actual turntable, um, but a bit closer view, okay?
So hopefully that's helped some of you who uh, maybe wonder what on earth this latching, non-latching thing was and also the notch up, notch down. Um, if you look in my um, videos which are sort of down here somewhere, or even down there, uh, or is it over that way, I can't remember. Um, and look at my subscribes. Do a search for, or have a look for my subscriptions uh, for John. Can't remember his rest of his name, but if you look at for the, for the one that's John there, um, quite a recent subscription, you'll actually find that he's got a video on doing this with a another Backman locomotive, and he explains the the notching up, notching down in some detail. So definitely worth a look over there. Um, that's it for now. Um, see me later. Bye.